the patient was brought into the emergency roadside accident. MRI shows injury to the right side of the spinal cord L2. Uh, the questions were what will happen to the patient's fine touch and pain sensations on both sides of the lesion, i.e. the side of the lesion uh, and the opposite side of the lesion. Because we mentioned right side here, so we are interested to know if you know uh, what is the sensory loss on the right side, the same size side, and on the opposite side, i.e. the left side, okay? And number two was pretty stock in the sense that draw and label TCMLS, okay? This was the question, and this is the key. Uh, the key is again straightforward. Brown Sicard syndrome is the diagnosis. Effects below the lesion, remember it's below, so it's divided into same side and opposite side. Uh, you were asked only two. Uh, this question can come in different ways. Uh, another variant of this question is they can ask you uh, describe all the sensations that are lost on the same side or on the opposite side, but we committed to two sensations. Uh, which is fine touch and pain. So as you know, on the same side, fine touch uh, is lost because the DCMLS does not decussate at the level of entry. It decussates at the level of medulla. So fine touch is lost on the same side. Pain, however, crosses over. So pain is not lost from this side. However, on the opposite side, it's the mirror of what this is discussed here. Fine touch is not lost because again, yeah, the lesion is not here. Pain, however, is lost on this side. Okay, uh, this I have mentioned. Uh, uh, these are called schematic diagrams. Okay, um, and the reason to give you here both systems, what we asked was the DCMLS. However, uh, what you also can study from here is how to make the DCMLS pathway as well. These are this is a schematic way of drawing. Do not waste your time in an exam uh, going for uh, 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 detailed graphics or detailed structure. This is not an anatomy exam anyway. Uh, we are only interested in if you know uh, uh, where does it enter, what happens to the first uh, order, second and third order neurons. Where do, they where do they decussate? Again, these are important points here. Where do they decussate? And where do they terminate and where do they end up? So schematic diagrams are the way to go.